Good morning and thank you guys for, for, for coming. Um, just wanted to share with you a, um, a very outstanding gesture that uh, was brought to my attention this week. Uh, Miss Peggy Chung. Um, Ms. Ms. Hong uh, has a keen interest in the virus and its impact on the 29203 area, such as everybody else. And she has uh, stepped forward to donate a, a batch, a number of, of masks uh, for the residents and the people who are most vulnerable in the 29203 area. And um, I thought it would be a good idea that, that um, she come over and um, let us express our appreciation to her and the thought of, of making sure that, that we do it, we continue to do as much as we can to uh, protect the people in 29203, same as any other part of the city. And um, we are delighted that. Um, since we've talked, there's been a brief partnership developed. Uh, she'll tell you about that. Um, the, the masks will be presented to the Eau Claire Cooperative Health Center at the Clyburn uh, campus here in, in Eau Claire. And those will be distributed to patients or people who receive services at that facility that live in 29203. And uh, with that, I'm going to let Peggy come in and express her appreciation for what everybody is doing in the 29203 zip code. Thank you, Councilman Davis. Actually, I'm very flattered to be here. We're very happy to donate a little bit of what we can do, the face mask, especially the surgical mask, to those who need it in 29203, especially. And we're happy to donate most of it to the cooperative health and also the residents who really need the mask. And hopefully this will protect but the majority of people because these masks are very, they're the surgical mask and which will filter the virus 95% of it. And, and these are really hard to get on the market right now. And uh, so we hope our very little, little effort can go along the way for the community in 29203. Thank you. Um, wanted to uh, introduce um, Sandra Christ Christie. She's the clinical practitioner and the manager of the Eau Claire Cooperative Center. Hello, um, Ms. Peggy and um, Sam. Congressman Davis. Um, we thank you on behalf of Cooperative Health. Greatly appreciated. It means a great deal. We see a lot of patients on a daily basis. Um, and where I am, I'm at the walk-in, so we're not sure who comes in and what they're coming in for, but these masks would be a very, very, very big help to us. We're very appreciative of Peggy. Actually, I just read local news, and I realized if I have a mask, where should I donate, and how can I distribute to people? I think it's 29203, and then that's how I approached Councilman Davis, because I have no idea how to do it. I uh, have no connection of the local people, so I approached Mr. Davis and he and helped me to connect with the cooperative and also the majority of the residents. Thank you. Um, to remind you, and I think most of you know and you've heard and you've read, that uh, the 29203 is one of, you could say it's, it's one of the hot spots in the, uh, in the city area. But let me, let me say this, uh, you know, 29203 is a large area. Most folks, when they think of 29203, they tend to think just here in, in the North Columbia area. But this zip code goes all the way out to near near the um, um, Killian area. So 
but the, the concentration in the city is uh, the primary focus here now, and, and we just want to make sure that uh, we do our part and that um, we continue to uh, do whatever we can to see that folks are educated to the issues, that they understand the risks involved, and that they and that, that we want to work with them and their family members to make sure that um, uh, we take the necessary steps to see that everybody is as protected as, as, as necessary.